Jim, if you haven't already figured out the worst kept secret, <laughs> this is for your 35th anniversary. You know, when my friends Jeff and Cindy came from Massachusetts, I had a bit of a head. <laughs> I, I figured me. Uh, and we're, we're here to honor you today for planting this church and sticking with it for 35 years through thick and thin uh, and through you know, the years at the high school and not having a building for 32 of those 35 years. And we'd like to honor you. Um, and if you'd sit down over here, Beth, you can move over next to Jim. And we're going to take you through memory lane. And we're not going to roast you this time like we did on your birthday. <laughs> Dear friends at Community Chapel, what a wonderful opportunity to celebrate your 35th anniversary of being one of the Easter 100 churches. I know in those early years, for many years, you had to set up and tear down every week, but you did so with perseverance and love both for Christ, his church, and also for your community. I know I, for one, am very thankful for your partnership in the gospel. You have always loved me, embraced me, prayed for me, prayed for this ministry, and loved the people of Thailand, for which I am grateful. I always look forward to coming back on home assignment and to visit Community Chapel one or many times during that home assignment year. Have a wonderful anniversary, and I send you all my love and look forward to seeing with you again in 2023. Hi everybody at Community Chapel. This is uh, Ryan Baker. I pastor at uh, Maple Ridge Church in Sunderland, Mass. And before that many years in Madison, Connecticut. Um, congratulations on 35 years. Congratulations to you, Jim, and, and Beth and everybody there at the church. Uh, that's just incredible. And uh, Jim, we met obviously almost 22 years ago and you've always been such an encouragement to me and uh, thanks for keeping me laughing and thanks always for uh, just the way that uh, you uh, you just continue to pursue Jesus and the mission that he has for you and your people um, I just think of Galatians 6 9 where it says do not grow weary in doing good uh, but uh, in the right time you'll reap a harvest if you do not give up and community chapel you certainly have not given up Wow 35 years God has been so faithful I hope you guys just celebrate off the charts for this and um, yeah just wanted to say hello and congrats all right bye congratulations Jim and Community Chapel so happy for this day for you 35 years congratulations what a great accomplishment it's been uh, such a great time to know this church and to know you Jim I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to be there today. I wish I could have been, but I wanted to do this video so that I could be uh, a part of this and to express my appreciation both to you, Jim, and to you, Community Chapel. You guys are a, a beacon in this district that we can point to so that people know that church planting still can happen in New England. And 35 years ago on Easter, this church was planted, and here we are 35 years later, just after Easter, celebrating this great event and the accomplishments and all the work and the dedication that has gone into this. It's just amazing. And I just wanted to thank you both, Jim and Community Chapel, for all that you have done and persevered through to get to this place. Jim, I think back to so many things when I think about your ministry and you know being together in this district. I remember crossing the oceans with you. I remember uh, you were the only one who stumped me on my ordination interview, at least that's the way I remember it. Um, but I fondly remember you preaching at my ordination service. And what a blessing it was for me to have you do that. And I've always looked up to you in this district. You were here before me and have walked before me and it had been an example to me. So thank you, Jim, for that. But thank you most of all for your the work that you've put into planting this church, 35 years of ministry. 
most of that in a rented facility, moving chairs, organizing volunteers, getting ministry up and running, and then keeping it up and running is just an amazing accomplishment. And I just want to thank you, Jim, for all that you have done over the years. The ministry has not been an easy life for you. There have been many losses that you have experienced over your time but you have stayed steadfast and we so appreciate that example to the rest of us and how to be steadfast in ministry despite difficulties and so Jim I'm here today to, to just thank you for for your many years of service to this church and to celebrate with you 35 years of ministry I look forward to the next 35 years uh, of this church because of what you have invested in it. Community Chapel, I, I just thank you for all that you have done to support Jim and to come alongside him and come alongside the work of the Lord in, in, in Oxford and, and in that uh, area where you have not only worked tirelessly to reach your neighbors and to reach your friends and your co-workers for Christ, but you've also reached across the world You've supported uh, our missions efforts around the world and, and you've been so involved in that way back to days of Congo and uh, you've supported Thailand and now you're supporting Long Beach on top of that. And so we're just so thankful for all that you have done over the years uh, to invest in sending the gospel around the world. And it's not just about your local community, it's about sending it around the world. And so thank you for that. Thank you for being a part of this district, to being supportive uh, in this district, to being supportive uh, of all that we have uh, tried to do and that Jim has been uh, working tirelessly towards in his tenure there as pastor. And again, I look forward to the next 35 years of ministry uh, through Community Chapel. I know it's going to be uh, another season where you see the faithfulness of God in the ups and the downs of church life. Uh, God is a faithful God. And whether he ministers through that church in that particular location or whether he ministers through the fruit of that particular location, your efforts will not go without its fruit. God will reward you for what you have done over the last 35 years. Let me just end with this verse for you. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Congratulations. So happy for you. Enjoy the day. Congratulations, Jim and Community Chapel. So happy for
voice You have led me through the fire In my darkest night You were close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend Oh, I have lived In the goodness of God Oh, and all my life You have been faithful All my life You have been so, so goodness of God yeah, yeah, yeah. so good Your work, I have never worked alone. 
We had to keep a few secrets. Got it the right height. So you gotta try that. So we made it big enough. <laughs> so we it big enough I just want to say. Oh, go ahead. We, we were gonna have uh, Jeff and Pat make it like the one in UCC, but we didn't want you looking down on us. <laughs> It's, it's funny because yesterday at Men's Fellowship, Men's Breakfast, we talked about the pulpit because I know you want one because you wanted it to hide my feet, but this one doesn't hide my feet. Uh, Jim, here, here's another uh, token of our appreciation for you. Thank you. Thank you for your years of service. I just want to thank you all um, for your kindness and wow, 35 years. That's longer than I've been alive. So, um, I was I, I told I told Beth this morning that one of the first parties we had as a church was my 30th birthday. So that was a couple years ago. Anyway, just wanted to thank you all and uh, it, there have been a lot of ups and downs as as has been said, but um, you guys have been faithful too. This this guy is one of them. So, anyway, thanks. We we got our signals crossed, and uh, my lovely wife asked Jim to say the blessing. But uh, we're going to be doubly blessed. So I'm going to ask Pastor White to come up and bless the food again. So, uh, again, my, my name is Jeff White. This is my wife, Cindy. <clears throat> we met uh, Jim uh, 35 years ago in 1987. I was at my first church in Stanford, Connecticut. Um, and uh, he had just come here. And uh, I won't tell you how many churches I've been in since then. <laughs> but it's a world's record. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. And the first time we, we met, um, we prayed for, I, I remember specifically, we prayed for Jim's knee. And so yesterday I asked Jim how his knee was doing, and uh, he's had four surgeries on that knee since we prayed for him. 
I'm not sure what that says about our prayer. Uh, for <laughs> hasn't had it had to replace. Um, we, we toss around that word best friend uh, a lot, I think. Um, but from my heart, uh, Jim is my best friend. Uh, he has he has pastored me uh, for for 35 years uh, and uh, knows everything about me, and is still my friend, which is incredible. <laughs> but speaks so much about his heart. And that word that we've heard over and over again this morning uh, on faithfulness, and I've seen that over and over again, not, not only here at, at Community Chapel, but in my life, in Cindy's life, uh, his faithfulness to us and standing by us. Uh, he's been my pastor, and I deeply appreciate it. I would like to, uh, I would like to pray for both Jim and Beth, and so um, I'm going to ask you if you would come up. And I'm going to just ask if, if you'd stand. Uh, I'm not sure how we feel about social distancing, but if you just put your hands out. Uh, and as we pray for them, um, I'll get behind this new pulpit. <laughs> yeah, but, and would you, would you join me in prayer? Lord God, uh, this, this morning is uh, emotional. Um, but those emotions are not sadness at all but a, a deep appreciation um, for the gift that Jim has been and in, in, in continues to be uh, in, in our life, to touch us in so many ways that some of us only know personally. We, we don't share in general. Now, Father, you've given him a heart uh, in that word faithful. You have faith, been faithful, and your faithfulness has been reflected through Jim's faithfulness to, to this church to this community to the mission of this church but to individuals to each one of us um, with words of grace of truth correction when that's been appropriate and uh, but just knowing that we never we don't stand alone that we have um, we have a pastor who who loves us who loves Jesus uh, and is deeply committed lifelong uh, to bringing us together we thank you for Beth coming alongside and just knowing her these few years, but just what an incredible woman and a woman of God and a, an incredible partner in ministry. And now they get this opportunity to continue this new chapter in serving this community and raising Jesus Christ and seeing your kingdom come. Lord, it is with grateful hearts that is beyond words that we express our appreciation for the gift that you've given to us in this couple. And Lord, all that they mean to us. We look forward, we truly do look forward to a future when we continue to walk together with you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. And now thank you for this food and we ask your blessing upon our conversations that we have. In your name, amen. Amen. Amen.